Hey, so you wanna know what it's like to live in Ann Arbor, Michigan, and more specifically, why you clicked on this video is you might be interested in knowing what Burns Park is like right here in Ann Arbor. Well, I'm in Burns Park literally right now, and we're gonna take a tour. As always, we're gonna look at some real estate, we're gonna look at things to do in Burns Park, what the quality of life is, the school systems, and just give you guys an update on what's going on here with the real estate market. So if that interests you guys, stick around because we're getting after it right now. Hey, if you're new to this channel and you wanna know everything there is to know about eating, sleeping, working, playing, the good, the bad, and the ugly about living in Ann Arbor, Michigan, then go ahead and crush that subscribe button, hit that little bell, and give it a thumbs up so you're notified every time we come out with a new video and to learn about the current market right here in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Eric Meldrum. I'm a licensed realtor and team leader with True Living Real Estate Group right here in Ann Arbor, Michigan. And we are getting phone calls, text, emails every single day. People are popping into our DMs and even scheduling um, on our Calendly, which we have the link down below. But whether you're making a move in one month or one year, you guys got to get a hold of us. We are helping tons of families make their move to Ann Arbor, and we want to help you do just that. So go ahead, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. And again, I put my Calendly link down below. You can schedule a time to speak with me or any of my agents and would be happy to help you make a smooth move to Ann Arbor, Michigan. You wanna know what it's like to live in Burns Park. And today I'm touring the entire subdivision. I'm gonna give you the lowdown on the neighborhood, the subdivision, um, the school systems, the real estate here, and what's surrounding Burns Park and what you can do with you and your family. So right now I'm standing in Burns Park literally Burns Park, that's what it's called, the Burns Park subdivision. And this park is used to be the old uh, fairgrounds for uh, the Ann Arbor here. So you actually have a little bit of an outline. You can still see, we can't see it in this, this shot, but there is a track that goes around where you know the, the fairgrounds used to be just a big circle and the standing right here in it. It's also connected to the school, which is right behind me. So the Burns Park School, um, they have field day today. So we'll, we're, we're in luck because we can actually see the kids out here playing. It's pretty cool. They have a bunch of bounce houses, a bunch of games and, and things set up for them to do here. But this park is absolutely phenomenal. They have five tennis courts, even some kids tennis courts that you, know, you can come use. They have an open field here. They set up soccer. They have two baseball diamonds. They have uh, playscapes for the kids, swings, you know, all that fun stuff. Anything you guys really need for you know a day out or just an afternoon out with the kids, let them go run in the field. I mean, literally look at this. Like they have so much room to run and this is right in the heart of Burns Park. So really cool, you know, spot in Burns Park. All right, so now you guys have seen Burns Park, literally this 15 acres of beautiful openness that you can take your kids to or just come run around, have a game. Um, we're gonna go check out some real estate. So stay tuned because we're heading there right now. All right, so we're here looking at some real estate now. And as always, wanna give you guys a little bit of flavor on what you can get for your, your buck here in Burns Park. Um, so today we're gonna be looking at a $650,000 house. We're gonna be looking at a $900,000 house and a 1.6. The first one we're at right here, this is listed at 900,000. It's a five bedroom, four bath, 2,166 square feet, built in 1931. It doesn't have a ton of updates, but as you can see from the photos, and we'll put those off right here, um, as you can see from the photos, it's got a, a character and charm to it. So that's something a lot of people here in Burns Park really appreciate is the original architecture and the original features of these homes, and they really maintain them over time, and it's beautiful. So let's head to the next one and check that out right now. So we're here at our next house. This one is a little bit upgraded from where we were before. And it, that's the cool thing about Burns Park is like you go two or three streets over, um, you could have a totally different style home. 
and people have made updates, people have knocked homes down in the subdivisions and built homes, put additions on and just kind of made it their own. Uh, but this one right behind me, this is a listing for 1.65 million. And this particular home is five bedrooms, four bath, 3,600 square feet, and it's got tons of updates. So as you can see from the pictures, these updates are great. Um, they did a really great job with, you know, with these updates. And this is a premium home in a premium subdivision right here in Burns Park. All right, so we're at our final house today that we're gonna look at and we're closer to downtown, which means the houses have gotten a little bit older. Uh, so this particular house that we're gonna look at was built in 1911. It's a three bedroom, two bath, and it's 1,288 square feet. Uh, it's really actually nice. Uh, looks really great from a curb appeal, but this is what they you call like a stick build um, here in Ann Arbor. So this house, it doesn't have a garage. It's very kind of narrow. Um, and you see a lot of these closer to the downtown area um, because back then, when in the early 1900s, you didn't need a lot of space. Closet spaces are small, and the living spaces were just not as big as they are today. Um, but this house is really great. This one's listed at 650. Look inside. They did a lot of great updates to it, and it's going to go pretty quickly, in my opinion. So this home is actually really walkable to downtown. We're going to go check out a lot of places you could eat, grab a cup of coffee, and just hang out with your family. So let's do that right now. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that little tour of the real estate here in the Burns Park area. The homes here are absolutely phenomenal. As you guys can see, the tree lines, all of the, the scenery around the Burns Park. I mean, this is where you wanna be in Ann Arbor. If you can afford to be in this neighborhood, this is one of the most highly sought after neighborhoods. Obviously the prices are a little bit higher, but it does offer a lot of great amenities and cool things to do around the area. And just surrounding Burns Park, you have um, some local shopping. So you have Trader Joe's, Whole Foods, uh, just up the road. There's a lot of restaurants and little shops um, over there by those, those little strip malls. And then on Packard Street, which is runs right downtown, you have uh, Argus Farms and they have a little cafe in there um, right next to a nice little pizza store. And there's also the, um, the wing store at the end. I forgot the name of it right now off the top of my head. some of the best produce, meats, and locally sourced vegetables around and fruits and all that stuff. And the cafe that they have in there is So you gotta check it out if you go to Argus Farms and make it a point to get the affogato. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that amazing tour of Burns Park here in Ann Arbor. This place is absolutely phenomenal. So if you guys are thinking about moving to Ann Arbor, check out Burns Park in this video. You just saw it all. I mean, this what do you not like about this place? It's got trees everywhere. The park is amazing. The real estate is to die for here. The homes are, are awesome. And more importantly, it's super close to downtown, super close to the university. And this is a place you wanna be if you're looking to be in Ann Arbor. If you have questions about this subdivision or any other subdivisions in Ann Arbor, drop it in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer those. And if you're thinking about moving in one month or even one year from now, 
doesn't matter. Go ahead, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, and me and my team would be happy to help you make a smooth move to Ann Arbor, Michigan. All right, guys, until the next video, go out and live your life to the fullest. We'll see ya, peace.